Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this one, I'm going to talk about how to take a uh, state diagram or a state table and to turn it into a digital logic circuit using JK flip-flops. And uh, here for this one, I have a two-bit up-down counter. If the input is one, it counts upwards until it hits three and then it wraps around zero. And if I put in one, it counts downwards until it hits zero and then it wraps around three. All right, and uh, let's just draw the JK flip-flops for this. That's what they look like at least on a schematic. Okay. And just I'll start out by bringing my clock down here. And we'll just pause there for a minute. Okay. So the truth table for a JK flip-flop is like this. And if I have uh, it like this, if J and K are both zero, there's no change. If I have uh, J zero and K one, well, the output, I should say Q and Q bar, the output will be 0, 1, and here it's 1, 0. Now, if I have J and K both high, then what I end up getting is it toggles. So what happens is if uh, Q is 1 and Q bar is 0, then you end up here, so Q becomes 0 and Q bar becomes 1 when your clock pulse comes along. All right. Now there's one more thing that we have to do with the JK flip-flop, and that is we have to create another table that sort of uh, allows you to uh, figure out what, what you need to have for each step, and it'll become a little bit clearer here in just a second. So if my current input, uh, or my current value is uh, a zero, and my next is a zero. Okay. Then I need, let's put this up here. Okay. Now you could say, okay, well, the value is zero and output is zero, so uh, that's no change. So we could just say that J and K need to be 0 and 0. All right, that's partially true, but we can look at the case of uh, here. I could actually have 0, 1 and still get the next state to be 0. So I'm going to put a doesn't matter or an X. All right, and if my current state is 0 and my next state is 1, well, I could put 1 zero. But we could look at uh, this here. Well, if I put one one, which toggles it, that would get me the same result too. So this one doesn't matter. All right. If I need it to be one and then a zero, I can say, well, all right, uh, the, the Q would be a one, or sorry, I need the Q to be a zero, so I could put zero one. Uh, but again, we have one one, and so this becomes a doesn't matter. And likewise, the same sort of thing for this. And this is the table that you will use to figure out your logic here. So uh, if we get over to my state table, I've added two columns here for A and B. Uh, this, this here is A, this is B for my current state, and A and B for my next state. So here we go. We see for this state, 
it is a zero on the next one, it needs to be a one. So we go over to here, okay, it's a zero and one. So I put one and x here, okay? Here it's a zero and actually let's do the, uh, let's do this bit, zero, one. We look over here, okay, one x. All right, here it's a zero, it needs to be a zero. Okay, zero x. And just follow along through that. Zero, one, one x. Here it's a zero, zero, zero x. One, zero, x, one. Okay, now this seems like a little bit of a funny thing, but I'm just gonna put you into hyperspeed here for a minute. And when I'm done, I'll explain how you deal with this. Okay, um, so now I have uh, my inputs for uh, A and B's J and K inputs. So now I need to create four Karna maps for this circuit. And I'm going to start with the J input for A. So I have in a and B. So as you're starting to probably determine, this is uh, a little bit slower than T flip-flops and D flip-flops, but in the end, uh, these have seemed, at least from my uh, experience, they seem to come up with a little less logic, though of course the JK flip-flop requires the, the dual three input NANDs function, so I don't know how that exactly balances out. All right, so uh, if my input is zero, zero, we get uh, one, zero, and here is zero, one, and here we have xx, and here we have xx. So, I can simplify this into that, which is equal to uh, in and b or in bar uh, b bar. Okay, and let's do jb then. Okay, or sorry, J, K. <laughs> or K, yeah, all right, here we go. K, A. All right, so X, 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 one, zero, and zero, one. So this one's kind of the opposite of the J. All right, so this is equal to uh, in and B or in bar B bar, right? Yes. And I believe that this is equal to in exclusive or B bar. I think that's right. And this one would be, oh, they're the same. No, they're not the same. Yeah, they are. They're the same. <laughs> All right. So um, there we go. So these guys, if that's A, just t attach those two together and feed the seam and put into it. And that is going to be
in exclusive or b oh, oh whoops b bar all right and i could go through the other uh the b uh flip flop but uh pretty much it's the same sort of thing you could work that out yourself Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, you might check out my other videos on my YouTube channel or take a look at uh, what I have on robotbrigade.com.